Yeah, I'm gonna make just a quick video uh, about the boat slide here at uh, Rockfish Bridge. You can see the, here the falls. I'm about a uh, hundred yards upstream from the boat ramp. So the boat ramp is right through there. And what it is, it's uh, a gravel road here at the uh, Highway 301 bridge. Also known as the Rockfish Bridge. And it's a pretty good gravel road that'll get you down here. If you're from here, you probably already know about the boat slide, but I've had some people comment to uh, answer some questions about the boat slide. So once you come under the bridge, it gets a little tricky. Uh, my truck is uh, 29 years old. It's only two wheel drive, but you go real slow and it'll just crawl over these rocks here. And once you get down here closer to the water, you pull your boat uh, truck up in here and back it up. I usually stop it right about here. Use about 50 foot of rope coming off the front of the boat and uh, just use my truck to drag the boat up the hill. If you got a kayak or a canoe, you can probably carry it up the hill. Water looks good this morning. Ain't nobody down here fishing. You can also do the opposite. You can actually bring your boat, you know, uh, like mine, a little John boat, canoe, kayak, and, and put your boat in here, right? And uh, especially when the river's a lot lower, you can paddle upstream here. You can go up about an eighth of a mile on this side. There's an island in the middle here, but around the other side, there's another good stretch of uh good fishing up around the railroad trestles there's always bass and stripers fishing behind these pylons is always a good place so this is the the old boat, boat slide. We got roots in the way that'll kind of grab your boat, but this is the one most people use. The people who know about it. So you can see here the tricky part. It's not too steep, it's just a lot of rocks. The only thing I'll tell you about the uh, ramp here is when after a good rain, this, this area right here gets real slick. If you got a four wheel drive, it ain't gonna matter. But uh, I got stuck twice last year. Uh, got it out one time by myself. And the second time I had to have my neighbor come down with his four-wheel drive and snatch me out. This is a better view here. see the trestles and the uh, pylons 
So this is a good stretch of river to fish. Like I said, this is an island here. You go around the back side of the island and it's another good stretch of water to fish. Behind all these pylons is a good place to fish. When the water drops down this summer, you can almost walk out here. It ain't but about waist deep. A guy showed me a picture last week of uh, his buddy that had uh, walked down this path here and was fishing from the bank. And he had a fish that was over, I'd say 30. So it's a, uh, it's a pretty good path here that'll take you up the river. If you want to try fishing from the bank, I've, I've never tried it. I see a lot of people using it. So this is a short video on just to uh, how to get your boat out. If you do float down like I do without going through the rapids and uh, losing all your fishing tackle when you flip over. <laughs> 